Hi, everyone. Sure, hope you had a great day. Well, we turned out not to be so severe today and saw the heaviest rain across the Southern Valley where we picked up some decent amount of rain. But the rain's come to an end for now, but it will pick back up as we head into our Thursday night and Friday morning. So as we head through the rest of our evening, mostly cloudy, cool and dry, you got that nice little cool feel to the air. It's going to be much warmer tomorrow. Then those storms move in Thursday night to Friday morning and then cooler weather returns as we get into the weekend. So your evening forecast, we're going to be hanging on to those temperatures in the 60s for the most part all the way through 10 o'clock tonight. Now, when you look at our severe weather potential from the Storm Prediction Center, uh, they issue this for a 24 hour period. So we're going from Thursday evening to Friday evening, and we do have a chance for some severe weather. But you got to look at the timing of everything. You can't just look at one graphic and know the whole story. So when you look at the rest of the story, here's our future cast. We pick up our timeline Thursday morning. Uh, and again, we're going to be most sunny. It's a little bit breezy at times, but a nice Thursday and it's going to be a warm one for sure. We're talking temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s, but here's midnight tomorrow night. Line of showers and thunderstorms. So again, our severe weather potential is going to be during the overnight hour. So have a way to receive weather information for sure. Cold front blasts its way on into the area. There's two o'clock in the morning. Strong to severe thunderstorms possible. But by four o'clock in the morning, it is on out of here. We're going to have some wet roads to get started Friday morning. And then through the day on Friday, we'll start to see some gradual clearing throughout the day. We're likely to pick up from that storm system. Uh, heaviest uh, rain is going to be north of Interstate 40. So we could pick up anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain. Maybe Maybe about a tenth to less than a quarter of an inch across parts of the Southern Valley. So subject to change, but definitely uh, going to be watching that storm system again Thursday night into Friday morning. So Thursday, we're at 84. Friday, we're in the mid-70s. Saturday, we come back down to those seasonal averages in the low 70s. But here's what it looks like in the big picture. Once again, probability of precipitation. Anytime you ever see these uh, percentages on a seven-day forecast or a forecast model anyways, it again doesn't tell you the whole story because technically everybody's getting wet before the sun comes up on Friday, which technically would mean Friday, right? Uh, but again, it's going to be in the middle of the night. We do have a level one, two, and three risk Thursday into Friday. The bullseye is going to be from St. Louis to Paducah, Nashville to Little Rock as this next little boundary moves our th way through. So our first cold front that brought us the rain showers today moves off to our southeast. Doesn't necessarily push all the way through. A warm front comes through tomorrow. That's going to help to boost our temperatures. Strong southwesterly flow out ahead of the cold front. And here comes our storm system as it races its way into the area. Then as we get into our Friday, Saturday, that severe weather risk shifts a little bit further to our south and southeast. So rainfall amounts, storm system number one that came through today down to our south. Here's that next weather maker. You can see how it's going to blast its way through the area. And again, we're going to pick up anywhere from most say about a quarter of an inch of rain to pockets of about an inch. So we'll go 84 Thursday down to 62 degrees on Sunday, then climbing back to those seasonal averages Tuesday, Wednesday. So more seasonable weather on the way and not too terribly cold when we're talking morning low temperatures. The coldest mornings will come through with 40s over the weekend. We round out the month with approaching warmth. And so the warm weather could be working its way back into the area as we end the month of April and start the month of May. Always stay on top of the latest weather situation by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app. Just search East TN Weather, all one word. Look for the orange TN and the white lightning bolt. You got your interactive radar, seven day forecast, day parts, all the weather information you need to know for us here in East Tennessee. Plus it travels wherever you go as well. And you have access to the only 24 hour weather channel right here for us in East Tennessee. Have a great evening. Enjoy your night.